Okay, this is page two of the network's notes. Uh, on that previous page, I should have made the uh, lines between the physical machines solid lines. <clears throat> I just realized that. Anyway, so uh, one thing that each protocol layer does is it adds its own header to what's being sent. And then as it receives stuff, it takes that header away and then passes its payload up to the next level. So each layer, <clears throat> adds a header to data being sent and strips it from received data. We're going to do uh, show a, a diagram, but another point before I get there is that uh, some layers will uh, subdivide the data that's given to it by the higher layer into uh, multiple packages um, that fit whatever format or sizing it requires. So some layers subdivide the data from the upper layer into smaller, I'll call them packages for now, to pass to the lower layer, and likewise and recombines uh, received packages. So let's look at a concrete example. So this is the transport control protocol with the IP protocol over the Ethernet link layer. So let's start with the uh, user data at the application level. And this is going to grow, so I'm going to start it on the right, it's going to grow to the left. So this is our user data. It's going to put its own header onto it before it passes it to the transport layer. So we'll have the application header, and the size is not really indicative. Usually it would be a lot smaller than the, than the payload. So the application, such as, for example, you know, a web browser will wrap the, or maybe sending some data to a server, so it will uh, put it into uh, the HTTP um, format. And these would be bi-directional, it can go the other way as well. So that gets passed to the transport layer which is running the TCP protocol. So it is going to add a TCP header. So that's going to have stuff in it like the port number of both the sender and the receiver, the source and the destination, um, and congestion control information and other stuff like that. The TCP header is anywhere from 20 to 60 bytes in size, just to give you an idea how big they are. And then that's going to be passed to the network layer which is running the internet protocol, which is going to add an IP header. And the IP header is 20 bytes. And um, lastly, that gets handed off to the ethernet, or the link layer running the ethernet protocol. And it actually adds a trailer 
and a header. So an enet header and an enet trailer. So that's Ethernet. And the Ethernet trailer is quite small, it's four bytes. And the header is 22 bytes. And then it'll hand that off to the physical layer, which just sends the bits uh, one at a time to the other side. So um, the size of an Ethernet um, payload, I guess we could call it, can be from 46 to 1500 bytes. So not, not a lot of data. And each of these packages has uh, terminology associated with it. So the unit that's used in Ethernet is called a frame. At the um, network layer it is called a datagram. At the transport layer it is called a segment and then at the application layer it's usually referred to as a message. Um, some of the documentation actually mixes up these terms, but that's generally what's used. And um, so that's that's an example of the headers that will get added as it's passed down the stack and stripped away and checked as it gets passed up the stack.